when uh, Russia invaded Crimea and eastern Ukraine and had made an attempt to annex Crimea, I think uh, we could have received better help, better aid from, from uh, the West. But my position, of course, as an le international legal scholar, has been changing, to tell you the truth, because it's a very hard case. It's a kind of challenge to international law. Uh, but after studying this case, I realized that from international legal perspective, uh, first of all, democratic countries, NATO countries, they had no choice but to use force to stop genocide. It was their duty. From I know, moral but it, wasn't it from our legal. duty, our European duty, never to allow another Srebrenica to happen? Uh, they, they didn't allow in Kosovo, but do you think they did enough to stop the Ukraine war? In the year 2014, when uh, Russia invaded Crimea and eastern Ukraine and had made an attempt to annex Crimea, I think uh, we could have received better help, better aid from, from uh, the West. And there were politicians in the West who understood this. Um, one of the American senators, who, who, who was a, a friend, very close friend of Ukraine, uh, he offered for uh, the presidents of Western countries to come to Crimea at that moment. And it could stop Russian aggression. It did happen. Unfortunately, we didn't receive uh, the necessary weaponry, which we receive right now, and which really helps us to, to survive and defend ourselves. So at that time, there were no real sanctions, only symbolic sanctions. And I think that by such inaction, Putin was encouraged. And that's why he continued his aggression.